Also with us is Paul Winkler. Paul is the president and CEO of Presbyterian Senior Care. He's also joining us on the 84 Lumber News Line. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mangino. How are you? I'm doing well. Were you surprised by this report? Um, certainly, you know, we always want to see Pennsylvania doing better. But having worked in the field now for most of my career, um, you know, I... I don't think it was as much of a surprise to those of us working in the field be for a couple of reasons. One is, you know, Pennsylvania's demographics, uh, having the fourth highest uh, senior population, 65 plus, about 15.5 percent. Um, you know, Pennsylvania has been playing catch up, and there's been a little bit of a catch-22 going on. So while for a lot of years, m many states, you know, were developing more robust home and community-based services, um, Pennsylvania has had a strain on the Medicaid budget because of the, uh, mo the older population. 85-plus population is the fastest-growing segment of our population. So that has been a burden on the Medicaid program. And then, of course, the financial challenges of the past six years with the Great Recession. So Pennsylvania has been trying to sort of turn what they call rebalance long-term care, shift more dollars toward home and community-based services at a time when you have this, you know, huge demand and financial stressors, uh, as, I, as I've said. Should people who have uh, aging parents be concerned about this? Sure, and I think for a couple of reasons. One is the personal toll that it takes uh, on everyone, and Secretary Duke just referenced the Pennsylvania Caregiver Support Program, and that is really great. That's a model program because those caregivers are heroic in what they're doing, and the stress and the worry that they carry around can really take a toll on their health. So at a personal level, absolutely. But then if we look as a society where we're going, um, we're going to have a big challenge ahead of us. In the next 16 years, by the year 2030, we're going to see our population here increase, the 65-plus population increase by 44%. So we already have this huge demand. We already have limited funds. And unfortunately, a lot of the focus in the past has been on sort of cutting up the same pie differently. And I think the reality is now that we have to look at things differently. The Secretary talked about this new Pennsylvania Long-Term Care Commission. So we hope for long-term strategies that will address this, you know, big, growing senior population in terms of, you know, how do we fund things? And it can't be an either-or proposition. You know, we need quality nursing homes. We need at them right. to be adequately reimbursed. And we need to be able to support people in their homes as well. It's a concern that I'm thinking that when you look at a growing population when it comes to seniors, and if the younger population isn't keeping pace, and those are ultimately being the taxpayers, then the revenues aren't going to be there in order to provide the services for those who are going to need it. And it's clearly going to be a problem uh, moving forward for the next uh, couple of decades or so at least. Uh, once again, Paul Winkler with us. Uh, Paul is the president and CEO of Presbyterian Senior Care, joining us on the 84 Lumber Newsline. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. KDK News Time, 614. Got a problem? No way.